Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Would it be? Would it be? Damn, I got to change the lighting in here. Lighting is kind of dark in here, but it's all good. We still going to get the message out. Yeah, I'm going to come with some better lighting soon. I'm, I got some um, lamps back there that uh, provide some better light. But we still going to rock. We still going to get it done. Who with me? Who rocking with me? Let's see how these notifications go out for this live. Because you know with this live, a lot of the times, they don't be sending out my notifications, man. That's all I'm saying. They ain't sending out the notifications. Right. Yeah. That's right. Would it be? Would it be? Who rocking with me? We got three people in the building. You see the title? Micah the Comedian. Salute. Salute. You see the title. Learn how to fight so you ain't got to. That's real talk. That's real ish. Micah the Comedian is with me. That's right. That's right. Yo, when YouTube... YouTube took my channel and deactivated my channel on some nonsense. It really killed my, um, uh, uh, what do you call that? The algorithm. I've noticed a lot of the videos ain't getting the hits they supposed to get. But hey, we're going to forge forward. I've been doing this for 10 years, 15 years probably, you know, and I still don't get the credit I deserve. That's right. I'm one of the most underestimated martial artist on YouTube. You know why? Because I'm light-skinned and I'm still pretty. So they don't think I know how to fight. <laughs> they say he light-skinned. He don't know how to fight. Light-skinned dudes don't know how to fight. We know that's not true. They used to say that in the 80s. But though, back in the 70s and the 80s, they said things like that. Light-skinned dudes didn't know how to do it. We ain't know how to put our dukes up like dark-skinned dudes. That I was confused. I got a fish just like a dark skinned man. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't doubt the lighter skinned man. We still swing them hammers. Look at them. That, my fist is looking real mutated right now. Idris, yeah. Family in the building. My family in the building. Mm hmm. All right. The family is in the building. Smash that like button as you come up in here, because we up in here. Cheer. Oh, yeah, you seen that in Denmark? <laughs> yeah, I'll be trying to tell them. You know, I don't post everything I do. You know what I'm saying? Some, some stuff I got to save for the online courses, so I don't post everything. But, yeah, your boy brother getting in. Yeah, I was getting in with them, and they were good. For, like, let's take nothing away from them. They were real fighters. Like they were really about their training, really about the understanding the defense. And that's what I was there to show. You know, I wasn't there to beat up on them or anything like that. It was just, just it was just to show when your defense is high, your offense is, is higher. It's higher. It's just like you got a gun and you facing the dude that got a gun in the vest. Huh? Who offense is this is higher now? That's right. The man with the vest. That's right. So you want to up your offensive game. That's all defense does is up your offensive game. You know, people look at defense the wrong way. No, you need defense. You got to up to up your, your, your offensive output. You got to have defense, man. Got to. Because you got to remember your opponent is trying to whip on you too. So you can have all of these fantasies about knocking out your opponent. But, uh, yeah, he want to knock you out too. Yeah, yeah. He want to send you home. Sleep, sleep. He wants you sleep, sleep. So don't get too confused. Then when you fighting, it's all about you. No, it's about you and your dance partner. And if your defense is right, you're respecting your dance partner. He said, you came up with a new block. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You're going to have to show it. You're going to have to show it. We need to see it. We need to see it. How does it work? 
real number 19 salute salute that's right all right we got 10 people in the building that's good enough to start it's good enough to start it let's go so you learn how to fight so you don't have to fight this is one of the biggest um how can i put it uh uh enigma puzzles of training to hurt a man is that even though you train to hurt a man you're training is so you don't have to hurt a man so what does that mean like uncle burley what are you talking about i've been practicing my left hook to sleep sleep people and now you're telling me i'm practicing this left hook not to sleep sleep people that's right that's right that's right because when you engage in a fight physical altercation even with all of your skills and your knowledge the variables of life can still make you the loser and you could be the good guy and still take the loss doesn't matter don't matter you can still take the loss so part of learning how to fight is learning how to walk away from a fight but you can't walk away from a fight until you know how to fight that's the craziness that is the craziness of your emotions see when you're training the fight you're also training how to handle your emotions i think rocky marciano said it the best he said in the fight the first person to get mad loses boom 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 shots fired Fuck out. that's right the first person to get mad loses and where does that matter when there's two people that really are trained to fight when there's two people that really know how to fight the first person to get mad loses because his emotions cloud your strategy people we love emotions but as wilson used to say when we came to class check your emotions at the door you know hang them up on the coat rack next to your coat we don't need your emotions up in here bringing it black the international session salute shara camille facts people who fought don't go look that's right i bet if you seen mayweather in the streets you couldn't get mayweather to fight you can call him all types of names punk you can't fight mayweather i'll knock you out mayweather i bet none of your words for make mayweather fight the only way you're gonna get mayweather in that fight is if he ain't got his security guards with him and you really trying to hurt him and he got to protect himself or you paying that money or you or y'all fighting for that money See, you couldn't just pull Mayweather into a fight if you seen him on the streets. But let's think of a boxer who you could pull into a fight if you seen him. Let me think. Uh, Iron Mike Tyson. That's right. Love Iron Mike. But Iron Mike had no control over his emotions. That's why anybody could make him fight. Anybody. They see Mike at an event, call Mike a name. Mike was ready to scrap. And that was because Customado wasn't finished with Mike. Mike was like a half done meal, but good enough to still win. But Customado didn't finish the package. Because if Custom or if Customado was still alive, you would have seen a different Iron Mike Tyson. We wouldn't have seen the Iron Mike Tyson fighting in these streets. Because you know what happened to Iron Mike when he fought in them streets? Lawsuits, baby. Iron Mike went through 365 million. That's like the movie Brewster's Million. Anybody seen that movie Brewster's Millions with Richard Pryor? And the story with Richard Pryor was for him to get the real money, he had to spend 300 and something million dollars. He couldn't tell the people around him why he was trying to beat up his 365 million. And it all had to be gone. None. No investments. If he made an investment that made money, he had to get rid of that money. So he had to go through 300 and something million. To get to the real fortune but this you know and iron mike kind of went through that <laughs> he kind of lived a life like brewster's billions because he went through all of that money and now he got more money but he ain't got the money he had though unlike brewster's millions in the movie where after he spent 300 million he got way more money no 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 mike spent his 300 million and had to grind his way back to the top so fighting is not about breaking down your ops 
It's not about killing your ops, not to us, not, not all around, not, not to the whole thing. If your ops are trying to hurt you and you kill your ops in, 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 in the midst of them trying to hurt you, well, then that's eye for eye. That's the law's nature. We ain't mad at you. We, we, we is not mad at you. But it's when timing is everything in the fight. Timing is everything when knowing when to fight. That's why they say, choose your battles wisely. Because not every fight you're going to win. And the victory is not the victory of winning the fight. Like, I could fight somebody that I don't need to fight. Hit him with the big left hook. Sleep, sleep him in midair. And as he falls to the ground, he cracks his cranium. I go to jail. Who lost that fight? We both lost. See, this is the understanding of fighting. The mechanic of fighting is to help you train the, train the most untrainable thing. One of the most untrainable things about being human, your emotions, your emotions, your emotions are like the ocean. They just swirling. You got to know how to train those things. And that's what fighting does. There is no other art on this planet that can get your emotions together like fighting. That's why the Buddhist monk says the warrior's path is the quickest way to enlightenment. Bars. The warrior's path is the quickest way to enlightenment. I ain't say it. The monks said it. They ain't say building cars, building houses, getting to the bag. They didn't say getting to the bag was the quickest way to enlightenment. No. They said fighting is the warrior's path is the quickest way to enlightenment. And if you read the book of Five Rings, Musashi... The Japanese swordsman, he talks about that. Because in the beginning, all he wanted to do was chop heads off. Choop, choop. He was chopping them heads off. Then he got like 66 fights and, you know, chopping heads off. Choop, choop. Heads rolling. Rolling down the street. Dude's walking up like, yo, I'm going to go see Musashi. Next thing you know, you see their head rolling down the street. <laughs> I guess he found Musashi. But Musashi got tired of that. Musashi said, when you kill a man, you take away everything from him, his ability to learn from his mistakes. So Musashi started fighting with a wooden sword. And this is when his enlightenment happened. This is when the enlightenment happened, that his skill was so high, he can show mercy. And that's why you want a high level of skill. You want your skill so high, you can show mercy. It's just like if you had to play one-on-one -on -one with Michael Jordan. He can spot you 20 points and still bust that and still bust that ace. Still come out the rear and bust that ace because of his skill set. He can spot you points. So what does that in fighting? How do we spot you points? We let you off the hook. You come up with all of this talking and yapping, not knowing who you're talking to, not knowing that you're talking to a straight certified lion lion and you just talking now there was a saying that jesus said jesus said forgive them because they know not what they do that is the mind of the warrior that that is the mind of the warrior forgive them because they know not what they do they don't know that you wake up in the morning and run them five miles you sparring every day you hitting the bag like a beast. You got the crazy one hit a quitter. He don't know that. He don't know that. So that's why he can transgress against you. That's why he can try to violate you because he don't know you. But what did Jesus said? They know not what they do. They know not who I am. So I'm gonna let him off the hook. See, that's what the... That's what the highest of the highest masters can do. See, anybody can kill you. Any killing ain't a grand masterful thing. Like you, you, you can you you can throw a rock out the window. It could bounce off something, hit another rock, cause a cause a mudslide, and kill ten people. So killing is not a masterful thing. But when you kill, who you kill for? And why are you killing is a different thing. 
So the level of learning how to, so when learning how to fight, these things change. These things change. Like right now, is you would be finding very hard to get Light Burley to fight you. But 15 years ago, all you had to do was say something like your mama, and I was punching you in the mouth. We all know that from back in the days, if you said your mama, that was enough to start a fight. That was enough to start a fight. All you had to do was walk up to a dude and say, you know what? Your mother. And I still don't even know what that means. This is how crazy we was as kids. Like, your mother. What, what's, the, what's the disrespect behind that? Now, we can add on to it. But those words back in my heyday were the cause to fight. Maybe even death. And why was that? Because we were emotional beta girls. Mars Mathematics family, head coach in charge, salute. Because we were emotional beta men. We were emotional beta men, raised by women. So we had all them beta emotions flowing through us. Femi, what's going on, homie? Hope to see you in Jersey. Um, we had all those beta emotions flowing through us. So... It wasn't, it, it, it wasn't hard to get us into a fight. It wasn't hard to get us scrapping because we were beta males. See, the alpha male, you can't just get the alpha male to fight you. He don't even want to touch you. Like, how I know you ain't got COVID? Well, I'm going to be punching you in the mouth. You mess around, got COVID. Call for me, and next thing I know, I'm fighting for my life after making you sleep sleep. See, that's the way the alpha man thinks. See, a lot of people think the alpha man is looking for a fight. Bringing the back set over here looking for that cash app just in case I get froggy. Support, brother, support. Like, hey, I'm going to start putting the cash app up. But Super Chats are open. But the cash app is going to be up. Thank you. See, bringing the black, that's what we're talking about. HBO special, help a brother out. Support the channel. I don't know if y'all know this, but after they deactivated my channel in some nonsense, my numbers are all twisted. Videos just getting three, four thousand hits. Now they back down to getting two hundred hits. But I've been at this YouTube game so long, you know. I've seen people come in, blow up, go to the moon, Venus, and I'm still here on Earth. But hey, as long as I can still be in the mix, I'm good. I'm good. Patience is a virtue. Those who are patient to get the bag hold the bag for a long time. So our young men must learn how to fight. In the future, what Light Burley's going to be doing, I'm starting my own group home. You see Umar Johnson out here running around talking about him. He's going to open the school. We ain't seen the school yet. Where's the school at? Take off my hat. Where's the school at? We ain't seen the school yet. But Light Burley's different. I'm looking for a group home. I want to build me a group home for young men. Young foundational black men in them ghettos who have mamas to raise them. They have no fathers. And we're going to have fathers on deck. In my group home, we're going to have fathers on deck. And the, and, and the main thing they're going to be learning is how to fight. I believe every man should learn how to fight. Because it will, it will cure the beta emotions in you. See, I'm not talking about learning how to fight to beat up your ops. That's just like... Learning to, to hurt a man is a small branch off the martial tree. If you think of the martial arts as a big oak tree, learning how to whip on a man is a thin branch. You couldn't even stand on that branch. You put a little pressure on that branch and it break. But there are other branches in that tree that are way more reliable. And one of the thickest branches, one of the thickest branches Hold on one second. Let me remove this. One of the thickest branches is getting yourself back. Your confidence. Your control of your emotions. That branch is way bigger than the, the fight branch. Way bigger. Do you know you can end more fights with your mouth than your hand? See, but you can't end it with your mouth if you don't train. 
See, when you train, your words carry steel. Steel. When you really putting in that work, your words carry steel. So when you say something, they see, they, they feel it immediately because you, because it, it comes out you. It's mind, it, it, it's body, mind, spirit. So what you training affects the mind. When it affects the mind, the spirit is affected. The spirit grows. You say I'm looking like Macho. Yo, I love Macho Man Randy Savage. Yo, salute, salute to Macho Man Randy Savage. Put a one in the comment if you if you rock with Macho Man Randy Savage. I was Macho Man Randy Savage is the reason why wrestling is what it is. He brought Flair. He brought not Ric Flair too. Whoop, whoop. Y'all remember Ric Flair, right? Whoop. I, 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 yo, listen. I, I was part of the. Back in my back in military school, we used to have this game where we would be certain wrestlers. And when we see each other, it was on site. Me and my homie was the bumblebees. So we ran up with the crazy bumblebee sting. You remember what the bumblebee sting was? And then it was on. <laughs> so I, I was in the wrestling big and fighting big time, but wrestling, I loved it. So I, I know all about my macho man Randy Savage, my Ric Flair, my Dusty Rose, million dollar man. Junkyard dog. Should I go on? I can do this all day. I can do this all day. But as I was saying, the school that I'm going to start is for young black men, young foundational black men, 15 on up. And we teaching them how to fight because there's too many shootings. Listen to the rap music. Why do you think they're running around killing each other? Because they can't fight. That's a byproduct of not knowing how to fight. You're going to go kill a man. And then when you kill a man and go to jail, guess what you're going to have to do? Fight. See, you can't escape being a man. You can't escape it. Everywhere you go, there you go. There you go. Everywhere you go, there you go. You can't escape being a man. Life is going to force you to man up eventually. L listen, life ain't no pump. Life Life be hearing that, 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 that smack you be talking. I'm gangster. I'm about it. I'm, and then life gives you your test. When life, when life hears you talking that ish, because life is really about that ish, it delivers it to you to see where you at. They, that's right. They scared to lose a fight. So they got to kill. So they got to kill. Like even with the King Vaughn situation, rest in peace to King Vaughn. He ran up on the dude throwing hands and they shot him. They shot him. He didn't run up with the gun. He ran up throwing the hands and they shot him. Because these dudes don't want to fight. They got no skills. They got no fight coordination. They got they 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 they, they, they drinking honey, lean, popping pills, smoking weed, destroying their temple. So they don't know how to fight. So they go for the guns and they don't basically don't even know how to do that. How many of them young dudes go into the range? I don't think so. They be holding the gun sideways. You don't hold the gun sideways at the range. Ain't nobody at the range doing this. They doing this. So we could tell they ain't even been to the range. They just out there shooting because it's easy. Because this right here, look at this. Look, you don't need how, how, how much how much workout do you need for this? Look, look at that finger. Look at my trigger finger. Ah, uh, I'm almost automatic with it. See, this is easier than doing a thousand push-ups, right? This is way easier than doing a thousand push-ups. But where, where will this get you, though? This is going to take you somewhere a thousand push-ups can't take you. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can't escape being the man. You can try. You can try, but the results will be disastrous because life don't miss nothing. Don't think that life don't see you. Billions of people are on this planet and life, and life sees every single one of them. Life sees it. Life knows what you're talking about and what you're trying to do. That's right. Come on, son. Come on, son. That's right. He said the skinniest dude in the room can shoot. 
shoot an AR, no problem, but can't take a punch. That's what I'm talking about. How you got the Draco and you can't take a punch in your mouth? How you do that? See, in my time, you had to learn how to get punched in your mouth. It was going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. if you Listen, if you're going to be fighting, you're getting punched in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. I'm going to let you know that right off the bat. I had one dude, when I was training him back in my heyday, he came up to me, said, like, I want to learn how to fight, but I don't want to get punched in the face. And I said, well, you you in the wrong place, buddy. <laughs> you ain't come to fight. You might as well go in the rubber room or something. Because over here, everybody get hit. Over here, everybody get hit. And the good thing about getting hit, it cures your, the emotional attachment you have to being hit. After a couple of shots, mm, mm, you know, you start eating them things like a champion. Like, oh, that's all you got, punk? Oh, that's all you got, sucker? <laughs> you start eating those things like, like Skittles. I'll straight eat a punch like Skittles, baby. You know, my defense is good, but look at my chin. Look at this. Good chin, baby. Good chin. My chin ready. My Listen, my chin is ready to be tested. But no, I'm going to test your chin, too. I'm going to test that chin, though. Press one. If you want to test somebody else's chin, you gotta you better bet, you better hope that your chin is ready. Press one. You can't out be you can't you can't be out there checking chins and don't think we ain't gonna check on your chin. Mm-hmm. You just thought you was gonna be a chin checker and there was gonna be no ramifications. That's what you thought? Well, you thought wrong. You thought wrong. You're gonna be out here chin checking, your chin will be checked. That's the name of the game in fighting. That's the name of the game in fight. And that's what helps you cure the emotional thing in you swirling that your mama gave you. That emotional storm inside of you that you got from your mama. Fighting to help cure that. We'll cure that storm. We'll turn that storm into a sunny day. Your mama gave you an emotional storm. But when you learn how to fight from a man, we're going to cure that storm, baby. It's going to be sunny days. Yes. And part of fighting, too. Let, now, now, when I say fight, we hear fight, you think automatically that you're fighting somebody else. No, you're fighting yourself. The fight is not with anybody else. The fight is with yourself. The fight is with being consistent. I've trained every day for the last 20 years. Except for the days that I was sick and the days that I took off, which was very few, very few. But consistency, see, consistency is the only thing that can be bad luck, good luck, or no luck. Press one, please. Consistency is the only thing that can be good luck, bad luck, and no luck. Press one, please. Consistency. And that's what you get from fighting, learning how to fight. You get the consistency of the training. You get the consistency of emotional control. You get the consistency of learning how to lose and how to win. So when you in the when you in the gym just hitting the bag, it's not always about beating up your ops, people. It's not about that. First, you got to beat up yourself. You got to beat up all of those bad habits and thoughts in your head that make you beta. Tat, testicles and testosterone. Put it in the chat. Who, who's tatted up in here? Who tatted up? T-A-T, -T, testicles and testosterone. We tatted in here. This alpha men talk right here. This alpha male talk right here. This is how I give it up. Kevin Samuels does it one way. I do it my way. And my way is fighting. Men must know how to fight. And I say foundational black Americans because those are my peoples that need help. But I'm talking about every race of man, every race of man. You should learn how to fight. Because when men are emotional, things get destroyed. People die when men are emotional. When men are over emotional, wars happen, people die, the train flies off the track. See, your woman can be emotional. She can be emotional. Nature gave her that gift. But you as a man, no, you cannot. Not over-emotional. 
I'm not saying you don't have no emotions. I'm saying over emotional. And if you were raised by a woman, it's a 99% nine chance that you are over emotional because you've learned from the source of emotions. A woman can't teach you logic. A woman can't tell you, can't, can't teach you how to say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. A woman can't teach you that. You got to learn that from a man, a man. We ain't going to say a man. We're going to say a man. You got to learn that from a man. Can't get that from a woman. But if you want to learn about your emotions, you go talk to a woman. But if you want to learn about the logical side of being the man, the alpha male thing, accountability, accountability responsibility, oh, you got to go to a man. And he needs to teach you how to fight. One of the greatest gifts Wilson Pitts gave me was teaching me how to fight. Because within that, he taught me a lot. I remember one time I was I was, I was complaining like a beta male, you know, bitching and moaning, complaining like the beta male I was at that time. And I told him the reason why I'm not understanding this martial arts is because my mother, she hated on me. She messed me up. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm unsure of myself. And he looked me in my eye and he said, F your mama. Now, when somebody say F your mama, you, you <laughs> but I knew I couldn't do nothing to Wilson. <laughs> What was I going to do? What was I going to do? Get froggy, jump and get slept, slept and get sleep, sleep. He would have made me sleep, sleep. Easy, easy. He said, F your mama. Now, I'm confused, but he, he built on it. He said, you can no longer talk about what your mama has done to you. What are you going to do to fix it? She's out the picture now. Grown man. Can't talk about what she did. What are you doing to fix it? What are you doing to fix it? Big Duke 24 said this stream is an instant classic. Salute. Thank you. What are you doing to fix it? Beta male blame people. Excuses and point the finger of blame. That's beta male stuff. Alpha male could have been through all types of stuff. He ain't talking about it. At least not the parts. At least not the, those parts. Because he's built on those. Anything that... That, that has pulled him down, he's made himself better to, to override that. Yeah, these dating guys gurus are getting exposed, right, Mars? Fit, what's that? Fresh and fit podcast. See, the thing with these dating gurus, how are you a dating guru and you're only 25? This is what I'm confused. See, let me tell you something, people. You can't fake wisdom. Wisdom doesn't just come to you. They say the only way to get wisdom is to pay for it with the coins of youth. And I'm going to say this again. The only way to get wisdom is to pay for it with the coins of youth. But when you've paid for the wisdom, when you've paid in full for your wisdom, guess what you're not having any, guess what you don't have anymore? Coins of youth. So what does that mean? Older men are wisdom. That is our job. You can't take our job. But what it is, is like a, old, a lot of older men ain't talking enough. They ain't speaking up. So the young men are talking, and I salute the young men. I salute Steph is Cold, uh, Poor Man's Podcast, all of these young men that are talking this talk. That's dope. But, but, you can't fake wisdom. Unless these young men been living the hard, unless these young men started dating when they was four years old, I don't think you got the wisdom. All, or all of the wisdom you need. Or a majority of the wisdom you need to talk so confidently. But I love what they're doing. But they will be getting exposed because they're young men. This is what happened with the Fresh and Fit podcast. We found out that they were smashing chicks through the inbox. Like, to get on the show, you're going to have to let me smash and dash if you want to be on the show. Excuse me. But on the show, they talking alpha male tactics. See, you got to understand, people. People lie. A lot of people lie. Most people are lying. Because they don't love themselves. And this is another thing about fighting people. Fighting will make you love yourself. I, I Listen, I love myself more than I ever at any time in my life. Right now, I totally love myself. 
down to my down to my funny shaped feet. <laughs> That's right. I got flat feet. I got Flintstone feet. My feet look like the Flintstones. You remember the Flintstones when they used to pick up the car and run? I got Flintstone feet, people. And I love my Flintstone feet because it's the reason why I can dance. That's why my footwork is so good. I got flat feet. <laughs> that, that, what? What? That footwork crazy. I look, that footwork crazy. But because of all of the time that I've spent with myself, training myself and learning the art of fighting, I've learned to love every part of myself. Even the bads, even the sides, even the side that I know I got to work on. You don't turn a blind eye to your bad side. You look it in the face and you, you stare at it and work on it. Wilson Pitts told me, he said, I am a mirror that can only see your mess ups. Don't ask me what you do good. Press one. He said, I am a mirror that can only see your mess ups. Don't ask me what you do good. Wow. Takes an alpha man to tell you something like that. Get your emotions in check because emotionally you want people to say good things to you. You want to hear all you. You want to hear about all your good stuff, but you don't want to hear about the bad stuff. You want to sweep it under the rug, rug, put it, in, put it in the attic, store it in the basement. Nah, not here, not here. Right here, we stare our mess ups right in the eye. We look up, we look at the mess ups right in the eye and say, "We finna fix you. I'm coming to fix you." You ain't going to be over there messing up all this time. We coming to put the fix on you. Coming to put that fix on you. That's what the alpha male do. See, the beta male don't fix nothing. He think he okay. Beta male running around like he good. He ain't good. Alpha male is like a man with a wrench. He's constantly tightening the screws. Screw. 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 That's what the alpha male is doing. He's always tightening. Because he knows life causes me mechanical failures. Life causes mechanical failures. Just like the plane that you fly on. They don't just let people fly and never do no repairs on it. Because then people will be dying. They don't do that. They, don't, they do not do that. They got to constantly be fixing the bolts and the nuts on them planes so that when you flying, a mechanical failure just don't happen. That's what we're talking about. That's what alpha males do. Constantly tighten. So that is why you must learn how to fight so you don't have to fight. Because when you learn how to fight, you can give proper mercy. You can't walk away from a fight until you learn how to fight. Your emotions won't let you. But when you learn how to fight, when you learn how to fight and you got your emotions in control, you can look at your opposite. Uh, I'm going over there. I'm going to get away from you because you're talking crazy and I'm going over there. I'm going. I'm a, I see my op on one side of the street. I cross to the other side. I don't want no problems. But you can't do that until you learn how to. Your emotions won't let you. Your emotions will pull you right into the trap. Flowing from the Survivor Scrolls facts, Mars Mathematics. Your emotions won't allow you to. So this is why fighting and learning how to fight is so important to master your emotions. And when you master your emotions, you master you. And when you master you, no one can make you fight. Another thing that Wilson did for me, Fonz Bless, what up? He got me a t-shirt that said LLP when I was doing all that fighting. And it stood, he said it stands for low level pump. He said, that's all you'll ever be if anybody can make you fight. He said, if anybody can make you fight, the only level you'll, the only level you'll reach is low level pump. Low level pump. If anybody can make you fight. That's for the beta males. The beta males get butt hurt and then want to throw hands. I'm never butt hurt. So when I throw hands, oh yeah, I'm throwing them hands. You finna sleep, sleep. Yes. Gil, AKA, because they were raised by women. Look at King Vaughn. Has anybody seen King Vaughn's mother? Now, when you see King Vaughn's mother and how she's acting, 
You can understand why King Vaughn was so emotional. Rest in peace, warrior. You can understand. Take a look at his moms running around here like she's 20 and she's almost 50, trying to get butt surgeries and stuff like that. That was his mother. He lived with her. She raised him. He was under, he was under that programming for years. So that's messing up our foundational black men. And Light Burley's going to open the school so all of these... Uh, 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 all of these young men growing up with mothers, they can have a place to go to find a father. We're going we gonna to call it build a father. I'm going to start building a father, building fathers for these foundational black young Americans. We're going to do build a father. They did build a bear. They out there doing build a bear and stuff. Nah, like brother coming with the real stuff. Build a father. You ain't have a father, I'll be your father. How about that? Your dad wasn't in your life. You got your uncle like Burley. I'm in your life. How you want this smoke? When you come into practice, let's get this work. Let me change your frame of thinking. The real Aaron Collins. Yeah, I thought that was Burley up there. Brother, I can see you to be a top authority on 52. I appreciate the knowledge and the training you bring to this. Thank you, Warrior. Thank you. It's good to be appreciated when you're putting in that good work. This is good work here. And this is why I won't stop. Won't stop, can't stop. Tack, testicles and testosterone. To all my young foundational black Americans is putting in better work. We want eight out of 10 young black men doing the right thing. Let the other two fall to the wind. Right now we got two doing the right thing and eight going wrong. We ain't gonna do that no more. So to keep this short and sweet, cause I will be back. These lives are coming. And we're going to keep them at this level. But as always, hands up, chin down, rumble. Young man, rumble.